the fifth Sunday after Epiphany, Year B. From the book of Isaiah, The Lord is the everlasting God. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. In the name of that same God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week speak to us of our God made manifest in the renewal of the strength of the faithful so that they shall run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Note we're talking here about renewal, not tirelessness. Our reading from Isaiah is quite clear that even youths, even princes fade, faint and fall exhausted. There's no shame in our fatigue. Our psalmist reminds us, likewise, that God has no pleasure in our strength, but rather in those of us who await his gracious favor. Rest, of course, is the best thing to do while waiting, but sometimes sleep eludes us, and personal stillness is more than our anxious bodies can bear. Then, like Jesus, let us get up, and go to a deserted place, even if we can go only as far as a window. Let us then remember, looking at the stillness outside of us, that the one who counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names, even when those stars are hidden from us, sees all our ways and has regard for all of our rights. Draw near then to that God in prayer. Remember in the words of St. Paul that you have been commissioned to proclaim the gospel, becoming weak to those who are weak so that you might win the weak. Remember that in the all-seeing eyes of your God, you yourself are worth winning. Proclaim to yourself, therefore, even if it's only in a whisper, the good news that in order to win you, In the midst of your own personal weakness, the Almighty became flesh and therefore became weak like us, even to the point of death. Let us therefore become weak, having seen God's power and great glory manifested in the weakness he has taken upon himself. In the name of that God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.